That's rubbish. Your answer is wrong. No, it isn't. Please continue. I'm, I'm stressing him out. Please continue. I think you'd be better suited for a long function. 22 of the 24 participants obeyed the experimenter until the end. Most had some discussion with the experimenter. In the follow up questionnaire, most expressed that they didn't like the experiment and were upset by the procedure. 73% believed that the situation believed the situation, but just 4% thought it was a hoax. 23% were not sure. 33% of the participants blamed themselves for the applicant not getting the job. 43% blamed the experimenter. 22% blamed the applicant. Within the control group, who could choose when to make comments, none of the participants made stress remarks. The had two main variations. In the original experiment, 56 made all 15 remarks. In the first variation, the experimenter ordered the participants to make stress remarks and then left the room for the experiment. This was used with 22 participants. 36% of them went to the end. The second included, included two active participants who rebelled. They quit after the 10th stress remark, so the experimenter ordered the real participants to continue alone. This was used with 19 participants, 16% went to the end. In our experiment, 92% obeyed, showing people do not see psychological harm to be as wrong as physical harm. Our study builds on Milgram's study by using similar variations. Due to the controls in our study, we have made it replicable and reliable. Our experiment could be made more reliable if it was in a different setting, since our experiment was in lab and the situation is artificial. The experiment had two main variations. In the original experiment, 56% made 15 The original experiment, that is not my line. The experiment had two main variations. In the original experiment, 56% made all 15 remarks. In the first, the experimenter ordered the two participants to make stress remarks I said two participants. 